You know how to use a record player? No. Okay, first of all, that's scandalous. You don't have to use a record player, Tega, but we're going to let that one go. So you was looking. Yeah. You're kind of looking, you're looking at Frida's eyes. Mm. What, that's where you want me to look? Yeah. Oh, okay. Who is it? Frida. Frida Kahlo. From Mexico. Why? You don't like it. We got a fussy one here. Yeah, we do. It's don't like fussy. popcorn chicken. Yeah. My cat. Don't like I'm, the cat. I'm a bit upset about the cat situation. I'm no. so I'm sorry. Monday. No, don't call her. Okay. <laughs> 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 oh, Should I be mean? I un Should I, I be mean message... and bring the cat to you? No, 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 don't. So I'm going to talk quickly about my technique for doing this. So the first thing is, I'm not painting from life nah. in that old school way. So is that old is, school? Yeah, you know, like how they used to do before they had technology to print oh, yeah. off a thing mm. with squares on it. Is it much easier this way? Well, don't try and dim my no, fire. No, I'm but... just saying, yeah. <laughs> or is it much, is it better, would you say? The, the thing is, they did used to use it. Mm. A, a lot to like for scaling things mm, up. Yeah. Actually, I'm just gonna do a little diagram quick um, just to talk about the gridding technique, how I do it. It's, this is very basic stuff, but just in case someone wasn't sure how to actually get a good grid onto your surface or your canvas. So imagine this is a canvas. Yeah, use your imagination and it's 60 centimeters wide. So the easiest thing I'm gonna do is quick maths. Divide that by 10, and so each grid square is gonna be six centimeters. So then I'm gonna mark out little dots, six centimeters apart, all the way across, and then once I've got them drawn out, draw the lines all the way down with my set square, and then repeat that going across the other way, and that's how I grid my canvas. So this canvas has got the same squares on it. Yeah. So it means that, I, it's kind of like helping me map it out. So yeah. this is how I do the walls as well. Oh. So it's almost impossible without this mm. on, on a large scale. Why well, look at you showing? But, in a bit of interest. No, I, I tried that. to draw at one point in time. Really? I just can't draw. I'm telling you, if you did this, yeah, you could do it. So like, like, can you see the picture? Yeah. So say that edge of your lip. Yeah. I know that's running against that line. I can be like, okay, so I know it's there. There's still. You just you, have to have. There's the still skill an element of drawing. Yeah. Like you need to be able to draw. Exactly. Um, some people probably couldn't even do it with. with the grid. Mm. Some people will do this with tracing it mm. or project oh, yeah. or projecting it. Yeah, yeah. There's so many different ways. Mm. Um, I guess you just have to find which one works best for you. Yeah, uh, you know when I when I so when I thought about doing this, mm. uh, there was no way I was going to try and make it look like I'm drawing it from life, like mm. I'm a 17th century mm -hmm. yeah. artist or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. Um, I like showing the mm. the way I'm doing it because I think there's just so many different ways. So you see the picture. Do you see the picture of the the guy on the left? Yeah. Is Charles Peterson. Yeah. He's a super unbelievable DJ. Mm. And Jazzy B behind him, the guy mm. with the hat. Yeah. They're like two it. London iconic mm. DJs. Mm. That. I mean, even the music that the guys in the studio they're making, mm. they wouldn't be making that if it wasn't for these. These mm. are the. Yeah. Yeah. Way makers, um, yeah. and so I had a list of about twenty of them. Mm. None of them you probably heard of, mm. but oh, to paint, to paint, mm. and I did about five or six. And my plan was mm. to find a place where I can show them, yeah, and get as many as I can to come and DJ. Yeah. So it was like to talk about, um, kind of giving thanks in a way mm. for it's like services to mm. music industry. Yeah, yeah. Um, I feel bad about it that like you don't know who they are. Mm. To me, they're like that's my. Yeah, but that was your time. That was no, but even now, yeah. yeah. Okay, there's no need to be rude. No, no, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> being rude. I'm just saying that was your time. No, 
Yeah. You know, everyone has their time. That was then. Yeah, and but, you, but I think it's important to not forget about oh, definitely. where it comes from. Yeah, yeah. Like, even whether it's grime or drill, mm. It, mm. you know, it, 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 it no comes from... No about history. No more. Unfortunately. Right. People just want to know about what's happening now. What, what are you doing now? Let me see what's happening now. But in terms of history, no one really cares. Only a few people, you know, who okay. really have a passion for something, they will know the history of it. But most people who rap, they don't know the history of rap or, or singing or whatnot. And you don't, no one cares. And they, you don't think they care? No, a lot of people. People just care about who's popular now. You know what? I, I, I feel that. We're just lazy. So yeah, so we're just going to be talking about anything. Yeah. Although I did read on your Insta story that you said you got think you, I like was going five for pm. It. <laughs> get ready. I got, <laughs> I've got what, things what, to say. What happened? Oh, it was about that whole sugar daddy situation. So what? What was you getting some heat about that? I wouldn't say heat, but it's just like people just people just asking me whether I have a sugar daddy or whatnot because of the old guy that was in the video. The, I wasn't the, even No, hold, in hold on. The, the thing is... With him. The, no, the thing I, is... That sounds so bad. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is... No, no, hold on. The thing is... If you, if you look at it from someone else's point of view... Yeah, but, but people need to stop jumping to conclusions. Yeah, but... Yeah. If you looked at it from... Imagine me. I'm looking at you and it's a story. Mm. Like, wow, what's going on here? Yeah. I genuinely... It shocked me. I, you know what I thought it was? I thought it was a music video. What kind of... Music video would that be? So take off all your clothes. I got no idea. I thought it was like some setup. Yeah. And then they were, there was do, a friend. They were, they were doing a video though. They Let me say a friend of yours. Yeah. There was someone else there yeah. who who looked like me next to. Oh, no, yeah. not looked like you, but looked like she was next to the guy. Yeah, she was. They did it on purpose. She went. They was taking pictures and doing like videos. They even put glasses on him. Poor guy. And he was just hold he on. Was, so he was just randomly in the spa. Yeah, it's an open spa. Like, <laughs> well, you, not open, but you got to pay for it. But yeah, and then they just yeah, they just took pictures and videos with him. But he liked it. I bet he did. Yeah. <laughs> no, I couldn't work out what was going on, and I'm what? sure. But that's what we was talking about. Mm. We we were talking on the way here about being judged yeah. on appearances yeah, yeah. and especially what you see on social media. Yeah. And that's just an incredible example of it. Yeah. Well, I, can, you know, I guess I can't blame people, but... See, on one hand, that's yeah. what I'm saying. On one hand, how can you? Yeah. But at the same time, it is strange for me why people feel that need to feel they can ask you. Exactly. You don't ask me how I am, but you want to... People are just well, nosy. Okay, well, yeah. No, I get people it. People are exactly. just nosy. Mm. Actually, this is a funny thing, mm. and this is this is talking about people's impressions of you from what they see on social media. Mm. So I get it quite a lot. Mm. Where, for example, I'll be in Detroit. I'm painting that Stevie Wonder, mm -hmm. and people, it's almost everyone. Mm. They'll say, oh, "They can I follow you?" Mm. So I'll tell them my Instagram. <clears throat> they they type it in and they're like, oh, you're jet setting around the world, yeah. you're killing it, you're doing this, that, and the other. They don't know half the Haven't story. got a clue. Yeah. I don't know where it comes from because I'm definitely not trying to make it look like that. I'm I'm literally just. You're like but more you likely are. to see. You, you are. I'm you're, posting. You're just, yeah. You're, but I'm not like trying to make something look like it's not. Yeah. I, and I've got cl like close friends. Mm. Ish, she'll be like. Oh, you're away all the time. Mm. You know how congratul like, congratulating me. Mm. I haven't been anywhere since September, mm. so it's not like I'm traveling. And in September, before this, before this trip, I just oh, went yeah, away. Yeah. September, and then before that, um, yeah, it's not. I'm not. I'm not going away hardly at all mm. since September. I was here every yeah. day yeah. in Acton, mm. in here painting. Yeah, sometimes struggling. Mm. Not selling any work, mm. having periods without oh, doing yeah. anything it good. Does, yeah. mm. But somehow, people are interpreting things as you're doing this uh, amazing work all the time. Yeah. And, and uh, some people, I don't even bother t to correct it if I don't really know mm. you. But if I know you, you and I, 
like you're a friend, like I care about you, I'm going to say, listen, that, that's not even, that's, I wish it was like that, but it's not. Yeah, like even when that whole situation was happening, like some people were just like, you don't even need to explain yourself. No, you, you don't. don't. But when, how, how is people asking you? You're, you're, you mean in, in messages? Yeah, just DM me saying, oh, who's that? Oh, what's going on here? Oh, it was sugar dad, like question mark, question mark. Just like, yo. You're saying like, you're saying that like it's a bad thing to have sugar dad. Oh, is it a good thing? Not to know. It works for some people. Do you know, I got told once that I should have a, I should get myself a sugar mum, sugar mummy. Why? This was genuine financial advice. From someone? From who, someone. Who has a sugar mum? No. Who's an actual financial advisor. And I told him, all my, um, I was having some money troubles a few years ago. Yeah, yeah. So I had to Even tell him. Even though you got all that money? Me years before that. Oh, okay. So I had to, <laughs> so I had to tell him, <laughs> I had to tell him like the whole thing. And he's like, okay, so you've got yeah. a couple of options. He said, you could buy a couple of small properties up north, yeah. just rent them out, yeah. da, 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 you know, like a legit thing. Yeah, yeah. Or he said, to be honest, I think you need to get a sugar mummy. It's yeah. the easiest thing. I, I know, I, you I, know what? I when couldn't you're, believe it. When you're he was broke, deadly serious. that comes to your mind. I'm, I'm, yeah, I can imagine what an easy thing to do. I wouldn't say Especially it's Especially as men are, men are oh, stupid. Yeah, yeah, for men, I, I guess it is much easier, but for females, I don't know. Personally, me, like, the idea of, like, sleeping with someone or doing something with someone for money. I don't mind, like, to be honest, people who go out on dates and get money, get your money, like, you know, I don't think that's hard work. Like, that's, that's so chilled, you know what I mean? But to sleep with someone for money, yeah. Uh, I, I, um, me, yes, I, I'm not judging. Everyone does what they no, want to do, no, but no, me no, personally, you know I don't. I don't feel like I could do it. But if you're desperate, you're desperate, man. When you're desperate, you do anything. Almost anything, anyway. Not true. It's... I don't know. Those okay. those kind of things... Well, you're basically... So did you try it? Yeah. Did you try and get sugar mom? Nah. Do you know? That's not me. I really? can't. I don't work like... Yeah, I can't. Really? Yeah. Why? Would it be too weird for you? Okay, well, it's no different to you. No. Where you I'm, said... I'm you a female. Said, Guys are different. You're programmed no, no, differently. I, yeah, okay, well, I'm, I know I'm a bit weird in that sense. So, weird like, as in... I, for me, it's not... Okay. Wow, we're getting deep into it quick. I didn't even think... Yeah. And I've never, been, never, I've never been like it. Like... Um, Okay, imagine you picked your, say, a celebrity crush, mm. right? And you said to most guys, mm. you got an opportunity to be with them. Yeah. Be, be with them. Mm. They'd be like, yeah, of course. Like, is he? Yeah, straight away. Yeah. For me, no. Really? Yeah. Why? Yeah, no, you're judgy. I don't know. I just, um, I feel like it's just much, it, it's sacred. What? Sex. Well, when you said, oh, you, when you I'm said be with, sex. oh, you're talking about sex. Oh, I yeah, you like, like when I be, be oh, with. Oh, okay. Um, oh, you can't say sex. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I, just that, I, I've never had one night stand. Really? Yeah. Because Neither that. have I. And I'm being honest. <laughs> no one said anything. No, but the way you looked at me, I didn't look course. at Did you look? I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. Oh, goodness, I did. didn't. No one said anything. They looked at me that funny. That was you. You just jumped to a conclusion. Um, yeah, I don't know. Why have you not? Because the idea, oh, the yeah. and I'm not even, you know, most people probably think, oh, wow, that's yeah. like Christian something. Yeah. Not even, no, it's yeah. not at all. The idea of literally just going with someone mm. random mm. and being inside them. Oh, goodness. We're getting really deep, aren't we? No pun no, intended. No, no, <laughs> and being like, like that? Yeah. Mm. And then what? Pack up later. No, yeah. I can't. And I know, I know that's not 
normal yeah. in a sense for a guy. But yeah. It's uh, just yeah. who you are. Yeah, and I'd, yeah. It, probably in the past when I was younger, mm. I'd probably feel like, oh, I, I can't. I've always been like that. Yeah. So I would probably in the past when I was younger, I wouldn't have felt comfortable to talk, to say that. Mm. But yeah, it's always been like that. I don't even know how we got onto that subject exactly. Um, it's kind of irrelevant, but... Um, what I should have been talking about was how I mix my colours, how I um, use my palette, so that's coming up now. So at the back, I'll just squared it off there, I lay my colours out from dark to light. Um, yeah, and then I just start taking from each one and mixing. That blobby stuff there that I just used there, that's liquid. So I put a tiny bit of that in each um, lump of color as I just brought it forward onto the palette. Um, and just that's, get that mixed in there. I found that seems to be the easiest time for me to put the liquid in. Um, generally, once I've got it in there, then I don't really need to think about it so much. Um, it's just always in that base color. So if I then say there I'm getting some of that orangey color and then I'm putting the liquid in at that point too, anytime I'm mixing those within other colors in the middle of the palette, they've all got liquid in already. So it just seemed to be an easy way for me to do it. I did try other ways. I used to have it in a little jar by the side and I'd always keep um, dipping my brush in and doing it like that. But this just seemed to end up being the way that worked best for me. And I'm just um, basically using the reference photo of Tega I got there and just trying to pick out certain areas um, for example, there's a bright highlight on the top of her forehead. So I'm just looking at it and trying to see what colors can I see in that. I can see, it's almost like a, a, a dusty violet, very light. I mean, it's hard to see that violet, but I can somehow see there's like a pinky, very, very light violet in there. So. Yeah, I'm just making sure I've got that color on my palette. As you go down past that highlight, there's a, a sort of tan color. So I'm trying to get something that just by eye looks the same on my palette as it does to the, to the reference. And I'm just keep on mixing, pulling bits of color from different colors and adding them to the middle of the palette getting a trying to get a decent sized lump of it that's going to last me or hope to last me for the whole of the painting but usually what will happen is as i go i might see one of those colors is a bit off so i'm constantly dipping into the other colors that i've got on the edge of the palette conversations with my cat yeah, so we did this pretty much over a couple of sessions. Um, we're about to start seeing some of the second one where Taker come back. And I started actually putting some of the paint that I'd mixed on the palette onto the canvas. Um, and more random talk. I don't even... Yeah. Are you spiritual? Yeah. Well, no, we spoke about this. You said, yeah. Um, did you grow up with the religion? Not at all. Really? I'm half Jewish, half Christian. Jewish? Yeah. Really? Well, where are your family from? Uh, are they well, English? 
No, my my mum's side. Well, my mum's born here, but my mum's side is Romanian and Dutch on both sides, mm. and my dad's side Scottish Irish. If you go back, mm. um, I swear Scottish and Irish people don't like each other. Really? Was it not? Or was it Scottish and English? Yeah. Oh. There's a bit of a. Yeah. I don't think. It's, yeah. I don't know. But no, there's a bit of a thing. Yeah. My mum and dad are both English. Oh, okay. They're born here. Born here, like, grew they're, up Their here. grandparents were born, were born here. here. Oh, okay. It's the next generation that's mm. back. That's the yeah, yeah. Born. So, yeah, they're, they're, they're English. Mm. Um, yeah, so I never... I've never been taught anything. I've never been told mm. what to believe. So it's weird, I you know what what is it that makes you believe in certain things? I don't know, but for some reason. Where where is Monday? She's up there, let's oh. see it then. Yeah. I'm glad you care. No, about. I was hearing the noise. I don't want something to you jump on my head. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. But yeah, so I don't really you know, if someone talks about a particular god, God, mm. I'm like, hmm. you know, the idea of someone, a man, and why is it a man this is sitting exactly. on a cloud, mm. saying things like, um, nah, you're not going to make it. Mm. You're going to do good. I don't believe in it at all. Really? Yeah. You've never had, like, you've never tried to be religious, not like that? I yeah, I've had well. spells and uh, uh, praying. Mm. Um, do you believe in prayer? Like, do you pray? I used to. Mm. I, I might do now, but it's not to a God, it's more to the universe. Mm. But you're but praying that, to something. Yes, but I think, like, I think the, the universe, like mm. everything to me, that's the higher power. Mm. That's God. Mm. Um, See your nose. Can you? Yeah. What do you mean you can see my nose? I can see it. I can I can see you coming. Oh. Mm. So you well, yeah, and I mean really all it does is is make people want to kill each other, pretty much. What religion? Yeah. Mm. So you feel like it helps some people then? Definitely, and if it does, then mm. all good. You yeah. Know. I've never, my belief's not ever going to make me want to try and tell somebody what they should, should do mm. or, or think. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know how I feel about men. Everything is just about man. Like, even religion is catered for men. Well, that's what I'm saying. Why? And then even, like, God, like, why is he referred to as him? Yeah, is he a God or is he a man? We've yeah. got to make up our minds. And you so that's why I don't think it is. It's every plant, every mm. animal, every human. Yeah. It's in all of us. That energy, mm. that's, a high, that's the higher power. Mm. So God is in stars, us. That's what everything, call. every every single living thing, mm. I think it's all connected, mm. and, and we and humans are so fucked up, you know, that we just don't see it like that, and we want to be separate. Well, not everyone, mm. but a lot of people, you know, it's like board, you know, borders. I don't know because I do believe in God, but there's obviously some things I question about religion. But uh, associated to a particular religion. Well, I was brought up as a Christian, but there's some things I do believe in, some things I don't, like, I question. Yeah, okay. You know. Um, yeah, you know. It, so, it's just like, so what about people who haven't heard about, like, Christ? So, what, are they going to go to hell? You know, the exactly. people, like, on the islands or whatnot, exactly. like, I, I don't know. It's hard. And I just feel like sometimes it's just, is, is it a game? Is like, life a game? Mm -hmm. If that makes any sense, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you got to do this to get that, like, this or that, you know? 
No, I've seen things like that where people say, oh, it's all just a big experiment or something. Yeah. I mean, I don't think I'd go that far, but I think it's easy to sometimes think, geez, like, what's the point of it all? Yeah. But I think that's yeah. exactly the point. Really, there's no, you know, there's no point in doing this. What's the point? In yeah. This? What's the point in doing this? Mm. But that's, I think, maybe that's what separates us from animals. Mm. Is they just do their same thing day mm. in day out, mm. whereas we want to try and do stuff. Yeah. Like They're just living. Yeah. Literally. Yeah, yeah, but. You know, all the things that we do try and do, sometimes it's a, maybe it's a little bit of a curse. What do you mean? Well, it brings about people wanting too much, people get greedy, people... Because, mm. you know, if you think about it, there's enough for, every, for everyone to be a little bit contempt. Definitely. There's enough for everyone, but that's just not the way it is. I feel like some people have to die, that's just part of life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You definitely. know, obviously we all die, but I mean, some people just have to suffer, unfortunately. Yeah, well, it's I mean, not this balanced. This is what I mean. I feel like it's, it's not like fair, a game. but it's all like, balanced. Why, yeah, why is it not balanced? Well, it is. Somewhere, no. you, you and me are chilling out. We've got our drink, we've got whatever yeah. we need, but someone else, somewhere in the world. It's not. Hell no. Exactly, but why? Because, yeah, life's a. <laughs> Is it exactly why is it like that? Yeah. Like you said, what's the point? And I thought that's you know what we're we living for. What's our reward at the end? Um, the reward. I I don't think the rewards at the end. The reward, the reward is now. Mm. And that's why you have to try to make the most of it. Appreciate it. Yeah. And it's hard to have that mentality, you know, like. It's a throwaway comment, isn't it? Live what? each day like it's your last. Mm. We can't, no one you can't does that. do that. Can't do that. Yeah. But if you keep in mind just to not, because, oh, I'm going to die tomorrow, but mm. um, yeah, I woke up this morning, I might as well do, you know, try mm. and do something. Like yeah. even doing this yeah, project, yeah. I've even had thoughts to myself, ah, oh, Rich, don't. Yeah. But yeah, why not? Mm. It's in your head. Yeah. And you think about it enough, I might as well try and make it happen. Have you ever like been like low and thought like, what's the point? Definitely, yeah. I've, I've suffered from depression. I mm. take medication every day for it. Oh, do you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, so I'm, living by yourself must be really bad for you then. Well, if you uh, didn't have your cat, like you said. Yeah, yeah, seriously, you know I, mean? I weren't joking. Yeah. I'll be... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, really? Yeah, yeah, so that's... So what, what got you onto, like, the meditation? What was your low point? Well, because I got to the point of really feeling like um, those bad thoughts Yeah. were starting to get too too free, frequent yeah. to the point of, like, I started to scare myself that, yeah. oh, my God, I might, I might do something ridiculous one day. Mm. Is it because... Um, was that like after you broke up? Yeah, but it wasn't. It wasn't to do with heart heartache. Oh. It was just to do with what the fuck was you doing there? Like Where? what? What was? What was I even doing in that place with yeah. that person? Yeah. Like kind of uh, more self loathing kind of thing. Mm. Not not any blame to anyone else. Mm. Is me like I shouldn't have mm. done that. So I, I was really low after that. Mm. And in it, and in it too. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I don't think things like that you can. I, I'm not blaming anyone for mm. sure, but I think. Oh, and also, definitely, since I started painting, it helps you. No. It makes you depressed. No, just more more sensitive. Mm. Why is that? I'm not, no idea. But I just what would you mean sensitive? Like feel things more. Mm. I can, I'm de definitely aware of it. Um, That's you different. know, before I started painting, yeah, 
and I was just living my family life, mm. going to work every day. Yeah. I didn't even have a clue about, you know, being depressed or the idea of it. Didn't you know? Because you was busy, uh, maybe. Probably, yeah. But like, you know, you knew, I, yeah. There's, I knew what I had to do every day, and yeah. I wasn't lost. I think mm. a lot of times when you're lost is when you, yeah. the depression can hit you. Yeah. Um. It's true, yeah. like when you have no sense of direction or you don't know what you're doing or you're not happy with where you are, yeah, I think that so. sort of confusion, you're just like, what am I doing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Especially when you start to compare yourself to other people or whatnot, yeah, or compares. you start to think about the plan you had for your life. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you haven't hit them targets. Then Comparing's... Oh. That's one of the problems with Instagram and everything like that. And yeah. it's impossible not to. Like with the live thing, we'll mm. be like, oh, how, how many people? One, two, yeah, oh. yeah, <laughs> exactly. And that's part, that's part of that thing about what's the point? Mm. It's very easy to then think, oh, what's the point? Mm. Ah, that's exactly when you have to be like, no, this is, yeah, I, I need to do it. Yeah. No, I get you. Like at the beginning of the year and a bit of last year, I was like that as well. Like I've just got to a low point, and it's just like. For a while, just thinking like, what is the point? What am I doing? Yeah, my, I guess mine shows itself in the way of. I remember clearly. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to die exactly. But I'm just so tired. Yeah, of yeah you're tired. Like, Literally, just, that's it. I used to drive to work. I had yeah, this job that yeah. wasn't good for me. Because mm. I wasn't being myself. Mm. I was trying to be somebody else. Yeah. So I had this job that yeah. I used to drive there every day, thinking, mm. I wouldn't mind just having a crash. Really? Like, not like a, I don't want to die, but enough that I can just literally be, Go on. maybe like in a coma or something for really? six months. And then come back. So I don't even have to think mm. about, any, I don't have to have this noise mm. that's in my head every mm. single day. Yeah. And I think it, it, it started to get worse and worse, and that's when I went to the doctors, because I was like, yeah. you know, I'd start to actually visualise I know. Like doing something. I, like, oh. I know. I actually did something. What did you do? Wow. Well, I took some tablets. See, isn't it amazing that? Yeah. We can meet someone. Yeah. Feel and be surprised. Yeah. Because, you know, I, I'm surprised to hear that from you. You yeah. might be surprised yeah. to hear it, hear it from me. Mm. And I think it's so common. Mm. Um. I've had that. I've had those thoughts recently. Yeah. And I haven't quite done it. Yeah. Oh, recently. Yeah. Yeah. Recently. Um, was it like a trigger or something? Uh, no, nah, not really. I, it happened when I was away. Um, oh, maybe it was homesick. I don't know exactly if it was that. Mm. Um, but whatever it was, mm. just that idea of doing something just to. Just to get rid of that noise. Yeah, it, it, it is. Right? I just yeah. need peace. I just need I peace. So what happened? Like you find you. No, like, it, it was just. Did so... you have to go to hospital? No, I I don't even think what I took was strong. I took like you know. But like, you had an intention to do. Yeah, because well, I don't know. Well, yeah, because like it just got so much, and like you said, you get that voice. It's just like it's just so much. Like you just keep, you know, just. You get ideas, you yeah, just start yeah, yeah. thinking. And then I went on this, someone posted something about like, oh, this number, text it if you're ever feeling low, depressed or whatever. Okay. And I did, and I was speaking to them, but it's like, they're not really helpful. It's just like a computer kind of thing. Like, it's like a question. Yeah. You know when you're asking someone a question with a question, like you're not really, there's no yeah, emotion yeah. behind <laughs> it. It's like, girl, well, what is this? Like, you know, and it's just like, even before I've tried to get help for like depression and whatnot, and I even tried to go privately, but no one got back to me. It's just like just been so much bad stuff, and I just having to deal with that by myself is just mm -hmm. so hard. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, I just got ideas and whatnot, and then I was just like, you know, what? I don't think it even did anything. I don't know if it made me tired and I just slept, but that what I took was not strong. And so but that's the only thing I did. I couldn't. In the past, like I've tried to like like hurt myself, but it's just that's not me, man. I can't hurt myself. Like I'm just mm. too I'm too much of a wimp. Like 
you know. Well, the, th the thing is, for me, I know that even when I've been in my worst, yeah. I could never imagine, like I think, I'll actually visualise yeah. doing the, the stuff that people do, mm. like jump in front of a train, I get whatever. I can't. And I just like, I know it's never going to happen. Yeah. I know I can. I can. Well, I got to where I, the point that I go to get help mm. is when I feel I'm not sure. Mm. I don't think I'd ever do it. Mm. But I, it, it made me understand because before I'd see someone's killed themselves. Mm. I couldn't understand it. Mm. How could you do that? Yeah. Like, what was that? But now I, I get it. Yeah. Definitely. I get that point of like, yeah, I snapped. Yeah. I couldn't handle nothing. Yeah. And I just. Especially if you don't have anyone, of course, it's so much easier for you just to do that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, the fact I've got, you know, I told you I've got a daughter, right? Yeah. So just the fact I've got a daughter, mm. I mean, that was massive. Oh, you thought about her? Yeah. Yeah. You know, the idea of her knowing that her dad killed herself. Mm. It's like, nah, I can't remember. Yeah. And also my mum. Oh, she's still alive. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine your mum. Mm. I'm not that old. <laughs> no, but imagine, yeah. imagine your mum, like, yeah, she'd feel broken, up. like, yeah. what did I do wrong? Mm. Like, my my son or my daughter mm. felt that they, yeah. I mean, it, yeah. the, the mess, I think, that gets left behind. Yeah. But I get it that you're so gone, mm. you're just not thinking. Still. Yeah. But I think it's crazy for even, like, kids to, like, have that. I no, they can think that, but for that, the fact that they even do it, like, I think that's even crazier. Mm -hmm. For a child to imagine themselves killing themselves and then actually going through it, I think that's, like... Yeah, well, it, what, it, I, yeah it happens. How, how, it? how did it get there? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, so I got some medication. Um, Does that help? Because I've heard that they don't really yeah, help. Yeah, I think I got really lucky. Yeah. Because I read or heard a lot of things that people try this, it doesn't work, and then they do mm. I started taking this thing, mm. you know, sertraline it's called, the lowest dose, mm. and it worked like that. Like it changed, and that's at the same time as I started oil painting. Mm. It changed everything. Mm. Um, and just recently, I needed to have a bigger dose mm. because... It's getting more. I, those thoughts were there again. Yeah. And how is that? Is that helping you? Yeah. But in general, I can still, there's a, there's a, the only word I can get is like a apathy. So even when I'm, even if things are good, I'm enjoying myself, I'm painting, mm. I've got them excited about this project, yeah. everything, there's still a kind of, Mm. You know, if someone if someone appeared out of nowhere and said, "Listen, Rich, you're struggling. Oh. I know. I got this thing. Um, if you want me to make it happen, when you go to sleep, you won't wake up." Mm. It's like, oh, mm. it's tempting. Yeah. Like I'd like to kill myself. Mm. But yeah, and yeah. so I, to me, that's sad. I'm like, I'm, I feel like ah, oh, that's sad. Like, mm. But I can't help it. Mm. If I feel like that. Yeah. And it's worse when you try to, like, ignore that. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I think I'm lucky that I'm quite open with it. Yeah. I don't mind telling. I'm not I'm not um, ashamed about it. Mm. But I think there is a, you know, a thing mm. to be, people who are embarrassed about it. They feel weak. Yeah. If they have it. That's true. Oh, I, I didn't think know that. Yeah. This is the thing. Yeah. People think I'm always happy, or like my friends. People say that my friends they check up on me on social media because I post a lot. They think, oh yeah, she's good, but it's yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. you don't know how I am. Like, no, no, exactly. And, and but that, this, this is why I just have to like cut a lot of people off because it's like I'm having. I've learned how to deal with things by myself. I don't feel like I've gotten the help from a lot of people who. Say that they're my friends, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I'm like you, like the way that you said, you're either in or you're not. There's no in between. Yeah. Do you get it? Mm -hmm. So with friendships or relationships or with whatever I do, I have to go all the way in, or there's no mm -hmm. point. Mm -hmm. If I if I don't feel like you're my friend or you're doing things that I thought a friend should be doing, we can't go nowhere from here. Yeah, like, yeah. do you know what I mean? Like, 
and I don't feel like I've got a lot of support from a lot of people. Like, there's only a, f- a few people that I will say that are my friends. But I've learned how to do with, deal with things by myself. I don't think I should. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. if you got obviously my family, like my mom has been, she's she's amazing. Wow. Well, yeah. Everyone else is just like, nah. Even now, I'm learning how to be by myself and understand that it's okay to be by yourself yeah, yeah, yeah. and enjoy it's your own easy. company yeah, yeah, yeah. because sometimes like you know before i'll just like get really low bro. like oh my goodness i don't have anyone i'm not with anyone right now like i'm yeah, lonely yeah, yeah. like i'm a piece of you know just mm-hmm. like but it's okay to be by yourself you can't Definitely. always always be with people but yeah uh, i think it was, if you're not if you're with the wrong people it's yeah. it's it's worse than being alone. Yeah, exactly. It is much worse. It is. You, you might feel like you've uh, got people you're sick, but no. Yeah, you, and you know. I've just, and this is the thing, and that was actually deep in as well today as well, is like, I've never, because most of my family are in Africa. I have like two cousins, okay. you know, but I barely see them and whatnot. In my household, yeah, I'm the Where, only... In what part of Africa? Oh, Nigeria. Okay. Uh, in my household, it's just, um, like I'm the only girl, whatnot, um, and you just, in your house? Well, obviously, I've got my mum as well. And then I've got two brothers, an older one and a younger one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then just growing up, and not having, like, female cousins or aunties or people to, like, look up to or to mm-hmm. guide me, I've had to manoeuvre through life by myself, mm-hmm. make mistakes by myself. When I was younger, I wasn't that comfortable to, like, express myself freely with my mum. You know, she was, like, she's African. You know? <laughs> you, know, okay. you know how African moms be and whatnot. So... I just I have to make my mistakes and learn by my, myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I wasn't always with the right people. Mm-hmm. So there wasn't someone or a cousin or like a family yeah, yeah, or yeah. to say, this is not what you should be doing, this or that. Mm-hmm. So I'm just following other people, you know, lost. Um, to be honest, you, you, the thing is, I think it's important to find your own way because you, you probably wouldn't have listened anyway. No, I think Depending it would have helped. I wouldn't. I feel like when you're with the right type of people, it will... Um, have an impact on the decisions okay. you make and how you move. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Especially like, like when it comes to culture or whatnot, if you see that people are not doing something, not to say yeah. you're just going to follow them all the way, but it will give you some type of base, like okay. guidance. Yeah, Do you yeah, know yeah. what I mean? I didn't have that. Right. So, okay. like, I'm just following people blindly, just doing whatever, whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, in a way, it's good, yeah, you find yourself and whatnot, because you've got to make mistakes. And it helps you to grow as a person and whatnot, but it would have been nice to have that, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, but at the same time, that makes you who you are. Yeah. Right? It's but it's you, still that, like, that gives you a strength. Yeah, strength, but it's just the, it's the longer route. Okay, yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? What? Yeah. So, um... Yeah, we had to wrap it up pretty much there um, for that session. And Tega says she's not coming back no more. She's scared of the cat. No, not really. But um, I'm going to finish off the painting um, and going to film that and time lapse it and do some more talking about some other things. I had some issues with the painting actually. That's something that's never happened to me before. So be talking about that and finishing the piece off um so that's it for part one pretty much 